few years ago I made this little army style trailer to go with my Jeep. Um, what this was was a livestock tank, the kind that you find up on the mountain on the range for uh, the cattle up there. And somebody shot some bullet holes in it. And you can see, like right here, there is some small pinhole. Whoops, too, too tight. Um, there are some small pinholes and things rusted through it. And so it was at the recycle yard. And I picked it up and, and uh, got it cheap enough, and they it made a really nice little trailer. But what I've been wanting to do is build a small camper type of a, like a pop-up tent type trailer that I can pull with the Jeep and go into places I can't get to with anything else. Uh, a few years, well, quite a few years ago, probably 15 years ago, I made this... Uh, kind of a similar deal. It's uh, styled after the sheep wagons. That used to be a two horse horse trailer that was really too small. So I cut that apart and re-welded it and turned it into a utility trailer. And This was really nice to camp in. It has a bunk up here in the front. It's full of junk right now. I've got a bunk up here in the front. Uh, this cupboard here, it folds down into a tabletop and it's got a cook stove in it. Under the bed is a slide out table. I've got a wood stove here that I made from a propane tank and uh, it, it was really very comfortable to camp in but it's heavy. It's heavier than what it looks like it should be and that new little truck I got, that little Ford Ranger I don't think I'll pull it up the mountain. Uh, that. So I need something smaller, lighter, more compact that I can pull with either that or the Jeep. Um, I think I'll show off this too real quick. This is kind of neat. It's a cow pie. With a wolf track in the middle of it. I found that up hunting a few years ago. How often do you find something like that? So anyway, I'm just starting this. I'm kind of winging it as I go. Got a piece of plywood cut out is all for the base, and that's as far as I've got so far. But we'll uh, update it a little bit as we build it. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing here. It's kind of turning out the way I'd wanted, but at the same time it's not. That upper box is going to be the floor. I was going to taper the sides so it matched the sides of this, but because of the brace on the uh, tailgate, it wouldn't slide out. So I made it square, and it's taller than what it needs to be. i got to cut it down. This box here, it's upside down right now. It'll be the roof. I gotta flip it upside down from what it is now and hinge it and I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. It might work, it might not. But gaining, slow but sure. Very slowly I'm gaining. Show you what I got so far here.
Okay, so the way I have this figured, this drawer will be the bed. This here, this big box lid, the reason it's so tall is that this will be a bench seat. Then you got plenty of leg room here when you get up in the morning to stand up and get dressed and whatnot. I'm going to need to cut this out, make a door here. I haven't quite figured out how to uh, support this and make it strong enough because if I cut that, it's going to allow this to flex. So, probably I'm going to have to weld a metal, metal frame up and around out of something fairly heavy. But for now, it'll work, I think. Now I just got to figure out, I bought some conduit, I need to uh, figure out the bows and a tent top for it. I don't know if it's going to work or not. My cockamamie weird little invention ideas, but we'll see. Iron Lake. It's got some good fish in it. It's pretty high elevation. I don't remember exactly what. Uh, 8,000 almost, I think. 7,000, 8,000, something in there. But we, we took my camper box for the maiden voyage. <laughs> use those plastic tarps until I can work out all the bugs and then I'll make, use real canvas and replace it. It's a little short. The bed, the bed is big enough but barely. It needs to be a little longer. So I think I'll turn it the other direction across crossways that way. But overall it worked out. Thank you.